Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to our episode of No Man's Sky and our Galactic Hub Adventures. It's been a while since I've made the previous one and there's a couple of reasons because of that. First of all, because I really wanted to like make an episode in which I could find other players' bases. Unfortunately, the PC version of No Man's Sky doesn't really have that much of an active community. Like the PS4 version of this game has a lot of people documenting their journeys and basically posting their base locations, something that the PC simply does not do and there's something happening you know right here on the screen I have no idea so I have also bought Shadow of War because I really want to like play that game I loved Shadow of Mordor and I'm intending to play that now getting back to the episode at hand what are we going to do for today and actually I have a few things in mind first of all I am going to finally build my base in the galactic hub I've been putting it off for quite a while and honestly it's time I went back and you know just gather all the material from whatever system I am in and just set somewhere here in the chunk of void. Wait, this is not a chunk of void. <laughs> well, hold on a minute. Hold up a minute. Um, I forgot where I am, honestly. I think it should be like really close, like somewhere around here. Oh, look at it. Speaking of the devil, it was right around here. So as I was saying, the most populated right now in the Galactic Hub, even on the PC version of the game, is the Shunk of Void. Like, there's a lot of people who have settled up here. So there's still a lot of things that we have not discovered. So I'm gonna choose, like, one of these planets, one that I find the most attractive, and I'm probably gonna set up a base over there. Like, we really need to do that, dude. And... All this nice little tree that you see has been pretty much mapped, even though not all the names appear on my version of the game for some reason. There seems to be like a high supply system, so I'm gonna travel to it, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to travel to places and find other people's discoveries, but for some reason there's not much activity going on right now, or if there is, I'm always too late to the party. I have yet to see one single person in my entire journey, except for maybe when it comes to all the messages they have left, you know, for all the other travelers. And this is one site that I never get bored of. Like, all these fights all happening. I'm, of course, I'm not gonna intervene. I don't really have the firepower to do that. But not like this. No, thank you very much. I'm gonna pretty much let you die. Look at it. This guy is getting destroyed, dude. <laughs> it's just simply bombardment. Like, there's three or four now. Actually, actually, there's like almost five spaceships simply destroying this thing. Look at them. I never actually stood here and just watched them fight. Look at that. <laughs> well, he actually destroyed a part of it. Man, you can... You can expect these pirates to mess things up really hard. But our journey is ahead. And it seems there's some cool stuff here. Alright. Oh yeah, there is some freaking looking planet here. Whoa, did we just find another base? Man, speaking of the devil, I always keep saying that I'm not finding bases. Okay, I'm a liar a little bit. <laughs> it's just that I am finding bases. It's just that they are not really the ones that I like. Because they don't contain farms, like the one that we saw in the previous episode was just bad, dude. And it wasn't the only one like that that I found. It's always those deserted bases that, you know, make me feel like depressed. Thinking that somebody actually tried and, you know, had a journey at some point and then just abandoned everything. And, you know, I keep searching for bases, I keep checking Reddit, but typically people who post there are playing on PS4, on the PS4 version of the game, which kind of sucks. And by the way, have they improved the draw distance or is it just me? Like, I'm seeing so much more detail on the ground right there. I can even see shadows, if I'm not mistaken. I can see mountain ranges and maybe it's because it's a moon. But let's see, is this a good base? Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, this is a safe point, but it's definitely... Oh, yeah, look at that. That's gay. That big planet over there, the mother planet is gazing over us. But that, uh, this place seems to be, like, pretty much abandoned. Like, whoever was here tried something and apparently it didn't work. 
See, that is, that is what I was talking about. I'm trying to discover bases, but this is what I typically find. Just deserted bases, nothing less, nothing more. I'm looking for a lush paradise, honestly. I'm not even sure what to even build. I think I'm still gonna build like a living glass farm, but somebody settled up a base here and I don't want to like ruin his work. I am not even sure, honestly, at this point. It's pretty much, pretty much abandoned, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think anybody's gonna be there. Like, there's multiple planets over here. It could be something, but it could be anything. 8 meter T-Rex. I don't think we have been here before. And there's like, Lone Crane Hall system. Alright, I wanna see like the 8 meter T-Rex. I better not get tricked again, cause like last time it got tricked so hard. It was like, not even once, not even twice. It was like 3 or 4 times in a row that I got tricked by somebody and their description of the planet system or whatever. Snivel. T-Rex, and I have no idea what the rest of this even means. <laughs> what? Another base? 8 meter T-Rex. Okay, okay, uh, nerd, nerd Dorado. <laughs> I like your name. You better not be tricking me, dude. I don't like getting tricked. Okay, Mr. Nerd Dorado, you better have something for your visitors. And... Again. Eh. What is this? Is this a base? This is not a base. Okay, I'm I'm landing really slowly. It's gonna take a while. Ooh, nice view though. At least you got that right, Mr. Nerdorado. I'm gonna have to say you have chosen the perfect beachside house. Oh, there's even like really like these are the first real beaches that I'm seeing, like actual sand and not just rocks. Like there's like beaches quite far away. Like this is like a small little place over here. Um, there seems to be like a hauler. Oh, come on, come on. A-class hauler. It must not have like 48 slots because it's only 17 million. Um, well, what can I say, Nerdorado? You seem to have abandoned <laughs> all hope. You have to leave something for your visitors, man. Oh, wait a minute. He said something about 8 meter T-Rex. That's why we came here. Well, I was disappointed about the base. I, I don't want to be disappointed about the T-Rex part either. So, I'm gonna go to the other side of the moon or planet. I think this is a planet, not even a moon, but it's a small one. And let's see, what do we have down here? Like, there's a lot of water. I have no idea how dinosaurs could just stay on islands like these. If I was a dino, you know, just huge, big, like, these islands wouldn't be enough, dude. I would eventually run out of animals to eat. I would get bored. So, uh, let's see, where's the dinos? Did I get tricked again, or is it just that I'm pretty unlucky? Okay. Mm-hmm. Holy hell, dude, it just appeared in front of me, okay. Oh, damn, who bit your tail, by the way? Like, that is the most undeveloped tail I've seen so far. How does he even keep his balance? He does look impressive and mighty, and there's, like, multiple types of dinos. What about that one? Docile, what is up with all these... Like, the bigger the creature, the more docile it is, but the smaller ones, dude, are, those are, like, the worst of them. And there's like these big creatures as well, like I keep seeing these ones, like short front legs, long uh, back legs. I have no idea, dude, like these, this is like um, some proper rhino. Look at this dude. God damn, like he's a cute one, I think this is a baby dino. Might be that. He might be like a baby rhino dino, rhinoceros dinosaur. <laughs> Yeah, he's trying to wash his face and he just fell into the pit. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm gonna check your relatives over here. It seems like there's an awful lot of them. And what is that? Again, this thing, this time around, it's defensive. It doesn't do much. Ooh, these ones are so crazy looking, dude. Yo, yo, where are you running? I just wanna meet you. Oh, I'm gonna feed it. Oh, look at my little friend. Lil is actually taller than me, you know, it's an understatement. He's happy to see me, is gonna poop something soon enough. Come back, you little pesky creature. Uh, come on, stay still, stay calm to daddy. Where, what are you doing? Where, where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's so cute. If I remember correctly, like, this was one of the creatures that attacked me on a different planet. And that was, like, super scary, because they can really get scary, dude. Like, especially since they can run really fast. Like, he has six eyes and 
Um, <laughs> he seems to have like a lot of room still left in his mouth. It's funny when it rains for this guy because his, his mouth is basically gonna be filled with water. Maybe that is like an evolution thingy. So I guess we have seen what uh, this planet has to offer. I have to say that I'm impressed. This is definitely a land of the giants. Alright, that was a nice experience. I liked what I just seen. But there's other like planets over here as well. And I don't think I'm gonna settle in this place though. Fine, we have like a few more travels, like two more. So let's make the most of them, let's see. What is up with these names? Top Cow? <laughs> is that supposed to mean something? One lush planet. Affluent? Well, I'm gonna give it a try. It's affluent and it's a green system and maybe there's something on it, you know, when it comes to affluent systems, you typically find something cool. At least that's what I like to think. Oh, wow. Ooh, there's like a lot of planets in this place. That one has not been discovered by anybody, has it? Let's see. No. No. Uh, can I bargain with these guys? Let's see. What? Two million units? Alright, you wanna fight like that? I'm gonna call my, my freighter, dude. Come on. Where's the freighter? Come on. No! I cannot warp! Why can he not warp? Okay. It seems that I'm forced to fight. If I die here, I die for good. And, you know, I, I, oh my god, what is this? I'm gonna melt you. <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you, little bird. And where's your friends? Oh no, no. Yes, yes. Fried spaceships, my favorite. It's uh, one of my favorite dishes, as a matter of fact. Yeah, there you go. Thank God I kept these uh, laser thingies. I'm gonna have to repair, am I not? Okay, that was, that was mediocre, dude. I don't have anything. Come on. Melt him? Melt this pesky being! Man, they should really flee me, honestly, at this point, because I'm not gonna give up. And as a matter of fact, I wish I could, you know, demand the money from them. Yes! <laughs> Who's laughing now, fool? I'm gonna... never mind. That is good enough. See? <laughs> These pirates, man, they are so stupid. Ah, standing with the gag has increased. I have not failed my brethren. I'm still thinking if to settle down on one of these planets or on a lush one. I honestly want to go back to lushness and I'm probably gonna make an explosives farm because even though living glass farm is better overall, I'm not finding myself farming each half an hour. Like, I'm wasting time. Alright, but I'm gonna go back really quick. To my base, I wanna check it out, let's see what happened there. I'm gonna gather a little bit of the resources that I have. I still have to sell a lot of things that I have in my inventory. So hope to God that I come back to this place. Your base, yeah, this one is it. I have not been there in such a long time, I, I don't think it's even there anymore. Maybe somebody even overwritten it, though I really doubt it. Okay, just as left. <laughs> not much happening here. There's, there has not been any visitors to my planet, maybe because I didn't provide any, you know, coordinates to my planet, but you know, it's not like the greatest system anyway, so who cares. Yeah, so it seems that I can pretty much sell up in any of the systems in the hub. And I have no idea what I'm even going to build as of yet. I'm just going to collect this and at some point I'm probably gonna have to make like a huge explosives farm, because that is worth it. I'm only collecting like each two hours, so it's not really worth it to me to keep it like this. Damn, that took too long. Like, all of these things are right here, like, they take too long to gather, dude. God damn. Alright, alright, not a problem. I'm just gonna grab all of these really quickly, and we're gonna build a little bit of living glass. I'm gonna have to eventually move out from here, dude. I really wanna get back to my sweet, lush paradise planet. And I'm gonna have to find that one. <laughs> I have no idea which one is gonna be, but it's gonna have to be different. Heat capacitors, yes. Lubricant, whatever. Living glass, oh, look at that sweet 12 million, dude. Not bad, not bad at all. It could have been worse, uh, but it's fine. I like the way it is. 
And now I have freed my inventory, or at least part of it. It's what I was looking for. Good. I like this. I like this a lot. Now we have some proper looking inventories, not like the cluster that we had before. It seems that we have discovered what's to be discovered here, and we're gonna move over. Well then, let's try this one. Hub 1666. This one on PS4 has a planet called Asgard, and it's regarded as one of the best looking planets in the game. It's a nice planet, it looks good, and I'm honestly wondering if that is the same here as well. Like, I'm really curious. Let's see, maybe we find something here. Oh, and there's no mistake, there is a base over there. Pandemonium, I think this is the glacial planet. What are the chances of somebody actually still living here? Of somebody actually setting up a farm for, you know, random travelers such as I? Hmm, I don't know. The planet does look indeed great. Hold up a minute. Yo! Is there a launching pad right there? Like, there's a huge structure over there, like a pillar. Pillar of eternity? <laughs> I don't know up until somebody overrides it, but unfortunately there is not. It would have been amazing to build this entire tower and it's an extreme sentinel planet. Okay, great. Great, just my luck. At least I'm gonna visit some six story, eight story... What is he, what is he looking for? No, no! <laughs> Destination reached. What is, what is happening? Alright. I'm, I'm safe. I'm safe in the base. Whoa, there is like a long way to the top. Holy hell. Ooh, this is nice. So I can even see my ship down there. It is like a huge tower, dude. Not a base. Not what I was looking for. But it's like one of the views that I really like seeing, honestly. Like, it looks gorgeous. Let's see, during the day. Oh, is this how it looks during the day? Okay. Whoa, like there's even nothing down there. Just this glass could like, what if it shattered with our weight? Especially since I'm like carrying all the stupid stuff that I have in my inventory. Oh, look, look at that. Our aggressor is searching for us. <laughs> I can see you, you little shit. I don't think he cares though. I don't think he even hears me. So let's see. Will I survive if I drop down there? Oh no! <laughs> Wait, I can I can actually take damage in my base. I'm gonna go the manual way, and I'm gonna like climb it like this, you know, manually, like a peasant. I'm gonna go at the very top because I want to see what's there, you know, like not in that little glass thingy that protects me. No! Oh my god, that was too close. <laughs> All right, there seems to be a little snow going on. Wow, it's freezing out here, it's like minus 67 degrees, not the lowest temperature we've seen. I'm gonna jump there to my ship, let's see, can I aim exactly for the cockpit? Ah, close, close enough, but I don't think I have plutonium anymore. Oh my god, what did I just do? There might not be enough plutonium to lift off of this planet. No! <laughs> There's like a small little you know, speck of plutonium right there. We might never even be able to, like, lift off. Jesus, what have I done? Alrighty then, there's the plutonium. It seems to be underground. Oh. Not bad. Okay, so we're in a cave system. We have not traveled like this in a, like, in a long while. I don't really like caves. I died in a cave once. It was the only time I ever died. It was in a cave. The only cave that I ever, you know, visited in this playthrough pretty much killed me, dude. Oh, yes. We have found it. Yeah, it was worth it nonetheless. So, two things could happen right now. I could go back to the way I came from and be out in, like, mere seconds. Or I could take a gamble and... I'm already lost, so who cares? If not, I'm gonna have to like build, let's see, can I build something on my multi-tool? I have the terrain manipulator though. Okay, but you know, I'm not gonna stay here and find out. I'm gonna just make a hole and just exit this place, you know, like civilized people. 
It seems to go on for ages. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to see an exit here. Oh yeah, it seems we're getting closer because I'm freezing to death. Oh wow, look at this tunnel. Whoa, dude! What is this? Yes! <laughs> Wormhole! Oh, thank god! Surface! Look at this thing, look at this. Imagine dropping into one of these, I'm gonna even cover it, dude. I don't want anybody to, you know, go through the experience I have gone to. So, we have gathered uh, the plutonium that we needed. I think it's time to go. I've seen a lush planet here, actually, I'm gonna check it out. I was expecting a little bit more from this frozen waste planet. Yes, welcome, friends. Glad to see you again. I am gonna buy something for you if you don't mind. Is that is that a casket? Oh, it's dirt. I thought it was like a casket, dude. Wow, this is actually the most beautiful vacuum cleaner I've seen so far. Has a lot of wings. Like, my man, this one has wings on top of wings and wings to... Eh, never mind. How, how can he even take off like that? <laughs> how can he take off like that? It makes no sense. Yes. Oh my god, this is ugly. Anyway, <laughs> this was another episode of our Galactic Hub Adventures. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely we have a lot of things to accomplish still. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel, you know, activate those notifications. It'll help me a lot and I will see you guys in the next one. So, peace out.